Hello there, everybody. Thank you for stopping by to hang out with me. I just want to give you a quick update before we get to the readings. For my Reiki apprenticeship program, we are now at 31%. Yay! Thank you so much to all of you who have contributed and to all of you who will still contribute because I know you're still out there. Um, it's just been so exciting to meet all of you and work with you, and I'm very excited to see this moving forward, 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 forward. It's so cool. Um, getting a lot of fun out of doing Reiki on people, just seeing the results is just wonderful and amazing. Uh, for those of you who don't know it, because it's come to my attention, quite a few people have said to me, oh, I gave, I wasn't expecting anything back. For those of you who don't realize this, when you do make a donation, um, I do I'll offer to give a gift back to you in the form of Reiki Minutes. So um, just for those of you who did not realize that, that is uh, part of the deal if you should choose to take me up on that offer. But anyway, I'm just very excited. Now on to the forecasts. Hello there, Capricorn. Thank you so much for stopping by um, for your weekly tarot video forecast for September 26th through October the 2nd. What we have coming up for you, Capricorns, on Monday is the Nine of Coins. The Nine of Coins is telling me that you're doing something that's rather independently oriented on Monday and that you're feeling really good about it. It's something where you feel like, you know, I've really accomplished something here. So that's a nice card to have come up for you on Monday. And then on Tuesday, you have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords, wow, somebody else got this exact combination, bang, bang, earlier this week. One of the earlier ones. Not on the same days, but we, I think we did have both of those cards, Knight of Coins, Knight of Swords. And trust me, I've been shuffling. <laughs> anyway. So on Tuesday, you've got the Knight of Swords, Capricorn, and that has to do with taking a dramatic action to stand up for something that is important to you or that you value. So that's going to be something that you're doing. And this is um, dramatic, swift action, just defending something that's important to you, standing up for something of value. Looking at Wednesday, Capricorn, you've got the Five of Coins in Reverse, there's a couple of ways that this is coming in, and I've got to tell you, I'm going to start with um, the less positive one first, just because I'm getting that as a heavier feeling whenever I get this card, and it was also the first impression that came up, so I feel like this is going to be happening for quite a few of you. Uh, but Five of Coins in Reverse, I feel like some of you who are... Um, single and, well, I wouldn't say single, but you think you're in um, a solid relationship or a relationship that has really uh, a lot of great hope for the future. For some of you, I think on Wednesday, you may be finding out that you are a mistress and you may not have realized that before, or a mister or whatever word that would be for the male version of a mistress. Um, you may be finding out that you are not the primary partner for this other person and that they do already have a primary partner. And I don't think that you guys knew that before. A few of you might have suspected, you might have thought there's something going on and you really didn't know what it was, uh, but I think some of you are going to find out um, this information on Wednesday. And of course, that's not going to apply to everybody who's dating somebody it's just some. This is a general reading. Okay. Now, the other way that this card comes in, and I feel like this is really for the majority of you, this card comes in as there's something happening that loosens up the belt for you financially. So this can be, you know, the cell phone is paid off, or the car is paid off, or the mortgage is paid off. And so you've got a little bit of extra wiggle room, a little bit of extra money in that uh, budget, or you got a raise or a promotion. Still, extra wiggle room in the budget. That's what I see coming in for Wednesday for most of you Capricorns. Excuse me. All right, so Thursday, what we have coming up is the Seven of Cups. 
And the Seven of Cups for Thursday is just telling me that you're going to be really looking over your options on Thursday. You're going to be thinking about all the what ifs. What if I did this? What if I did that? Um, there's something in your life that you're finding dissatisfying and you're trying to figure out, okay, what can I do to fix that? What can I do to bring happiness into my life in this situation or in this area? And so this is what your Seven of Cups card on Thursday is all about. It's all about looking at all the options and trying to figure out, okay, which option is the best option for you? Trying to get it narrowed down. All right, then let's look at Friday. I got to go back to Thursday. Not only are you trying to get it narrowed down, um, you're not even necessarily to one, but you're trying to get it narrowed down to the reasonable options, all of the reasonable options that you could pull off at the same time is what it feels like for most of you. Like there's there's more than one thing that you would like to do to affect this change. So now let's move on to Friday. Page of clubs showing up for you guys in reverse. Page of Clubs in Reverse is just telling me that you're feeling a little bit lethargic. You're not really feeling like doing much. Um, there's some kind of news or information that you hear on Friday that puts you into this feeling. Um, it's something that just really makes you slow down on whatever it is that your project is or whatever it is that you're working on. Okay, so let's look at Saturday. Saturday we have the moon showing up in reverse and the moon showing up in reverse is telling me that you have a situation on Saturday where you knew you had enough information to just know that there was more information that was not being revealed. So you had a fishy situation, you know, you had something stinking in the woodpile. All right. And so now when the moon comes in in reverse, what's happening is um, you're getting full information. All the information is rising to the surface and you're seeing it. all the puzzle pieces are fitting together now. And so now you're seeing what's really going on and you've got a much better idea about this situation where things were kind of fishy before. Now everything all makes sense. And when this card comes up, usually it doesn't come up unless this is a situation that having the full information um, changes. This Having this information will change um, how you think about the situation and the level of participation that you want to have in this situation. This may have you running for the hills from whatever the situation is. Um, this may have you stepping up into this situation more strongly. This may have you intervening in this situation to shut it down completely. So there's a lot of different ways to react in this, but with the moon card showing up in reverse, whatever way that you are participating in the situation now, I'm expecting that to change and I'm expecting it to change dramatically because of the full information that comes up and how you receive that, what you, you know, how that comes across to you. Okay, so what your reaction to that is, that's the best way to say that. Let's look at Sunday. So first we had the moon card in reverse. Now we have the star card in reverse. The star card in reverse is telling me that on Sunday you're feeling a little bit lost. You're feeling like, well, I thought I knew what my, why I was here and what I was doing and what I wanted to be doing with my days, but now I'm confused about that. I'm not so sure about it. And so you're a little bit lost as far as what your purpose is or why you're here on Sunday. And I really have to tell you, I feel very strongly that that's related to the moon card, that all the information that came up kind of changed everything for you. And so now it's a matter of reorienting and figuring out, okay, well, if all of that is true, then that means this for me, which puts me here. And you kind of have to process that and get to that point. And so I feel like Sunday may be a day when you're really working all that stuff out and thinking about it. All right. Okay. So Capricorns, not the easiest week in front of you, but you've got the heads up. Free will can change anything. Just keep that in mind. And also remember that this is a general reading. So not everything I say is going to apply to every single Capricorn. If you would like to have a private reading, you guys know how to do that. There's my website at the bottom of the screen. You guys can figure that out. I know you are intelligent people. I can count on you. <laughs> okay, so thank you everybody for stopping by. I do appreciate it for hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I hope all of you have a really good week in spite of what I saw here because there's a lot going on during the week that doesn't show up on the cards as well. 
And so some of you I will see for Reiki sessions, and some of you I will see for readings. And everybody else I will see back here the next time around. Peace out. Hello everybody, this is Amista, and I am coming to you today with something completely different than what you've ever seen here before, completely different than what I ever thought I would do. Um, I have been taking Reiki training, and I've gotten level one, and I've gotten level two, and I really want to take master training because already I've realized that there are other people out there who need to know how to be um, able to do Reiki for themselves. And I'm not able, I'm not qualified to show them that or to teach them that or to pass it on to them or empower them with that until I become a Reiki master. And so I was looking into a Reiki master program and I meet all the qualifications as far as that goes. I've been accepted into the master program, but the last little bit of money is what I need some help with, and I'm hoping that you guys um, will help me with that. Um, I need to raise another $3,000 to get myself into the program, and so that's where you guys come in. Um, what I'm doing is I am accepting very happily and very thankfully and very gratefully any donations that you may feel like you would want to give. If you don't want to, obviously, then don't. <laughs> um, but if you do feel like you want to help me to get into this Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program, any help that you, any of you and all of you send is great. Uh, no donation is too small. Um, I just ask that they're over like 35 cents because I think PayPal will take 35 cents of whatever comes in um, as a fee for collecting payment. But anything other than over 35 cents is no dom donation is too small. So there's the corrected version of that. Um, and actually I was looking with, I have over 7,000 subscribers. If every subscriber donated a dollar, I would be able to end this um, request. But, so if you would like to donate, I would be extremely thankful. I would appreciate that a lot. Also, I want to do something for you in exchange for donating. So anybody who would donate at all, um, I would like to offer you 15 minutes of uh, free Reiki distant healing. In other words, I would send you some healing energy um, where you would not have to come to my house or we would not have to meet in person. Um, just like I do a lot of my readings by Skype or by phone. I can also send the healing energy without having to be right in front of you. We don't even have to be on the phone or on Skype when I do it, although I will want to touch base with you ahead of time to find out where you would like me to target that energy. If you have any particular thing you want to um, have worked on energetically and also to touch base after it's done just to let you know that I have sent the energy in to check in with you, see how you're feeling, that type of thing. Um, anybody who donates anything more than $50, what I would like to do is send you some Reiki energy. I would send you the same amount of minutes of Reiki energy as you send dollars. So say you donate $50, then I would send you 50 minutes of Reiki um, energy. Anybody who wants to donate and doesn't want to receive Reiki but knows somebody else that they would like to have the Reiki sent to, um, feel free to let me know that and we, you can gift that Reiki to somebody else and I will just touch base with them, make sure I have permission to send them that energy and um, talk to them about where they would like it targeted and all of that just like I would if I was sending that to you. Um, so that is what I've got going on, and I really appreciate, like I said, all of the help any of you can send. I know not everybody can send. Not everybody will want to send help, um, but I am hoping that there will be enough to get me into this quickly, quickly. Otherwise, I would probably have to wait, I don't know, six months, a year before I had this kind of uh, money to 
get myself into there and I don't want to wait that long. I want to be able to empower people more quickly than that. Um, so what I'm doing is I am in the description section on underneath the video. I'm going to send you a link where you can donate and you can choose whatever amount you want to donate. And um, I will probably also have that um, showing in the video as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for listening and for giving this some thought, some prayer, some attention. And um, thank you everybody who actually does donate as well. I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Peace.